You're thinking about moving to Palm Springs. You're doing your research, but you're still wondering what are the reasons you might not want to move to the Palm Springs area. I put together a list, so stay tuned and let's find out. Hi, Neil here, Realtor in the Palm Springs area. If this is your first time to this channel and you want to learn all about the Palm Springs area, be sure to hit the bell and subscribe. And that way you'll know every time I release a new video. We're getting calls, emails, and texts every day from people moving and relocating here to the Palm Springs area, and we absolutely love it. Palm Springs is a world-class resort destination. Palm Springs has great weather. It's affordable compared to many other California cities, and there's always something to do. Palm Springs is a place where many people want to move to. So why wouldn't you want to move to Palm Springs? I put together a list from things I've noticed about living here and also from comments and thoughts from friends and from clients. They've moved here and they've told me what they really don't like about the Palm Springs area. So let's get started. Reason number one, the heat. Yes, it's the desert and you expect it to be hot, but for about three months in the summer, it gets really hot. You really haven't felt hot until you've been outside when it's 122 degrees on the asphalt and the sun is really beating down. And to make things even worse, sometimes we have humidity in the summer, which comes from the Gulf of Mexico, and then it really gets brutal. You can imagine getting into your car when it's sitting there and it's been 120 degrees. So if you can't stand really hot temperatures, maybe the summer is not the time to be here in Palm Springs. The hottest months are July, August, and September. So locals plan to do most of their outdoor activities in the mornings when it's the coolest. Afternoons between three and four is when the highest temperatures hit in the summertime. And it doesn't really cool off that fast in the evening. So, Thank goodness for air conditioning in the summertime. And remember, also the intense summer sun requires extra care for yourself, including sunscreen, sunglasses, and hats. And things that are outside in the summer sun will crack and fade, including outside patio furniture, cushions, and umbrellas. Reason number two, the wind. When you drive into Palm Springs from the west, you can't help but notice all the wind turbines. That's because the area between the San Jacinto and San Bernardino Mountains, known locally as the Pass, creates a natural wind tunnel. So unless you're tucked up against the side of the San Jacinto or Santa Rosa Mountains, or live in one of the coves, you'll be experiencing some wind. The windiest times of the year are spring and fall, with January and March being tied for the windiest months. These gusty surface winds usually begin in the late morning hours, peak in the afternoon, and then they die out by early evening. Winds in the low levels become much lighter at night and the pre-dawn hours. And one other thing, the wind does blow the dust and sand from the desert around, so it's a very fine sand and it gets into everything, including your home, even though you have all the doors and the windows closed. Reason number three, taxes. Yes, all the taxes are higher here, from sales taxes to property taxes to income taxes. The Palm Springs sales tax is 9.25%, and the Palm Desert sales tax is 7.75%. The local sales tax you pay is a combination of state, county, and local sales tax rates, so it can vary city by city and county by county. A rule of thumb for property taxes is 1.25% times the purchase price of a property. California has among the highest taxes in the nation. Sales and income taxes are generally high, but effective property tax rates are just slightly below the national average. California's base sales tax rate of 7.25% is higher than that of any other state, and its top marginal income tax rate is 13.3%. It's the highest state income tax rate in the country. Of course, income tax rates will vary depending on each taxpayer's individual finances. Reason number four, rain, or lack of it. Yes, we are in the desert, and the average rainfall is only five inches a year. But when it rains, it creates havoc. Roads become really slick fast, and people aren't really used to driving on the rain slick roads, so that some, does create some problems. Most streets don't have gutters, so if it gets very much rain in a short period of time, it just runs down the street like a river. In fact, sometimes roads wash out or they're closed, particularly in the west end of the Coachella Valley, including Indian Canyon, Gene Autry Trail, and Vista Chino. So the good news is rain happens only about 15 days per year, but beware when it does rain because people here just aren't used to it. Reason number five, transportation. 
We have the Sunline bus transportation system serving the Coachella Valley, also taxis, Lyft, and Uber. But the truth is, you really need a car to get around. Once you're at a place like downtown Palm Springs, the river in Rancho Mirage, or El Paseo in Palm Desert, you can park and walk around. But to get from where you are to where you want to be, a car is a must. And that brings us to the cost of gasoline, which is more expensive here. The cost of gasoline in California is usually the highest in the country. That's because of taxes on each gallon and refinery costs because California requires special blends to fight smog and air pollution. And the blends of gas change from summer to winter. Electric cars are becoming more popular and you can find charging stations everywhere. So factor in transportation costs when thinking about moving here. Reason number six, diversity. If you're not comfortable about diversity, then Palm Springs might not be the place for you. Palm Springs is truly a melting pot. You can find all kinds of cultures and lifestyles here. Palm Springs is known for its LGBTQ community, but on any given day, you'll find young and old, all ages and nationalities, and the common denominator is that people are, for the most part, very friendly here. So if you don't like diversity, then you may want to reconsider. One thing diversity does bring to the area is a wide variety of places to dine. The opportunity to explore all kinds of food is just as diverse as the population, so there's never a lack of flavors to explore. Along with the population diversity comes restaurant diversity. Both make the Palm Springs area special and different from many other areas in the country. Reason number seven, walkability. As mentioned earlier, you really need a car to get around from one place to another. Palm Springs has a walk score of 59, meaning it's somewhat walkable, and Palm Desert's walkability score is 27. So in Palm Springs, the walkable areas are downtown Palm Springs, the Uptown Shopping District, Ruth Hardy Park, DeMuth Park, and of course, the hiking trails. And in Palm Desert, the walkable areas include El Paseo Shopping and the Westfield Mall, and of course, the Palm Desert Civic Park. But you really need a car to get from, to each of these places from your destination. So if walkability is really important to you, then you may need to reconsider moving to the Palm Springs area. Reason number eight, snowbirds in the winter season. Yes, Palm Springs is famous as a worldwide resort destination, and we love the tourists and snowbirds. But as a local that lives here year round, we really notice the increase in traffic during the snowbird season, which goes from mid-November until about April. The main complaint we hear is driving. People that don't live here all the time really aren't in the correct lane. They drive slower than the speed limit and sometimes they get lost and that really slows down the traffic. So the checkout lines get longer at grocery stores, wait time at restaurants is longer, and you need more patience when you're driving. We really shouldn't complain because tourism is the driving force of our local economy. And we normally welcome tourists and snowbirds with open arms. So we need to remember that when our patience starts running just a little thin. Reason number nine, fear of earthquakes. Yes, we do have earthquakes here. And yes, we are located very near the San Andreas Fault. In fact, the San Andreas Fault starts under the Salton Sea, and it kind of parallels Interstate 10 through the Coachella Valley. So this is earthquake country, and you need to be prepared for one because they happen from time to time with no notice. Along with the San Andreas Fault, there are numerous other active faults that could cause damage. Most buildings have been retrofitted to withstand modern earthquakes, and we're reminded constantly to have preparations on hand in the event we do have the big one. But it's somewhat unnerving when the wall starts shaking and the shaking really begins and you wonder, is this really the big one? So if you don't like earthquakes or the possibility of one, then this definitely is not the place for you. Reason number 10, the cost of homes. While Palm Springs and the Coachella Valley are more affordable than many other California cities, the cost of homes here in the area is 79% higher than the average homes here in the US. But it's less than the California average, which is about 139% higher than the US average. In Palm Springs, the average price of a standalone home as of this recording is $935,000. Home prices have jumped 8.1% from last year, and the trend is expected to continue for the foreseeable future. So if higher home costs aren't something that you're crazy about, then this place definitely isn't for you. I've done a whole nother video on the cost of living here. You may want to check that out. 
Palm Springs is a great place to live. If you're thinking of buying or selling a home here, be sure to get in touch with me. I want to make your experience as smooth as possible. And don't miss my Living in Palm Springs podcasts on iTunes and Spotify. Now, be sure to watch this next video about the pros and cons of living in Palm Springs.